Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is part 26 of how to build an e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. In this part I'm going to make the search a little bit more advanced. I want to add price range search, add sorting and only search if the product is in stock. I can begin with the template. So if I go to search.html I want the form to be placed here. So I add just two lines to separate this a little bit. And then in here I add the form tag, form method is get action and just add URL and search which is the page we are on now. I want to add the columns in here because I want to split the different types of search into columns. Div class columns is multi line. And div class column is four. And then I want to add a title here. H2 class is size five query. And in here I want to add a field. Div class field div class control input type text name query this is the same as up in the menu class input value and here I want to pass in the query the word we are searching for I want to add a label for this as well label search term and at the bottom of these columns I want to add a button for searching div class is no div class column is 12 div class field div class control and then the button get a class button and is success so it's nice and green two C's search so we can just save this and see what it looks like if i just refresh my search i didn't search for any particular things but if i add a here click search i search for a and i got these products perfect next to the query here i want to show a checkbox so i can search for pro only products we have in stock so here add one more div class column is for label no sorry div class field label for this in stock and then div class control and then we add a checkbox input type checkbox name is in stock and I want to check if the we have checked this from before so we say if in stock I will show you soon how this works checked equals checked and if like that so if you have clicked this and we search it will be, remain checked when we refresh the screen so if I save now refresh we have an in stock here perfect Actually, I just want to move this below here so it looks a little bit better. So I can just cut the field, paste it there and refresh. And then next to here, I want to have the price range. H2 class is size five, price range. And then I add a field, div class field, div class control input type number name price from class input and the value is price from we will get this from the server soon and I want the label here label price from or it can just be from since we have the title up there then we can copy the field, replace with two, replace with two, and replace with two. If 
I refresh now, you'll see that we get two fields here, but they don't have any values. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. So I can go to the views.py to set these default values up here in search. First, I want to get the in stock from the search form in stock request.get get in stock. This will either be an on or off value. And then I get the price from as well from the form. And here, whoops, sorry, price from. And here we can set the default value to zero. So if I copy this and replace it to price two, and the upper value can be 100,000 or just some random big number. And I want to pass this back to the form as well, like this. So now this should be available to use in the front end. Price two, price two, and save. So, sorry, I did something wrong. No, I just didn't wait. So now this is pre-filled with from zero to 100,000. Perfect. And the same is if I click this search, now it will remain checked. Perfect. So then I can add one more value here, which is the sorting value. Sorting equals request dot get dot get sorting. I want to set the default value here, which is minus date added. Then we can pass this to the front end as well and go to the template and implement this. Here I can copy this, paste it here and say sorting. And then I want to add a select field here. Div class field label is select sorting criteria. Div class control div class select. And then we create the select element by saying select name sorting which is just this name, oh, sorry, sorting. And in here I create three option values. Op option value minus date added. Newest first. Option value price price low to high and the option value minus price which is price high to low. So if I save and refresh you have this here. So what I want to do now is to check here if the sorting value we get from the server is minus date added. Then we want to set this to select it. To do this, I say if sorting equals minus date added, then we just say space selected. And if I can copy this, paste it here, just replace with price. And here I want it to be minus price. Say. So if I refresh now, select price low high and search, you will see that now this says price low high. Perfect. So what remains now is to actually implement this on the search. So inside views.py at the bottom here, I can say if in stock, this will check if this is on. Then I just say products equals products dot filter number available available greater than or equals one. 
So now it will filter out all products that has one or more in the field number available and save. Okay, so none of those products had anything available. But if I uncheck this, click search, they will show again. Perfect. So now it's the price from and to. To do this, I can just go to the end of this line and say filter price underscore underscore greater than or equal to price from and I can filter price underscore underscore lower than or equal price to and save. So if I refresh now and if I say seven here, which is seven dollars, search only these products should show. Perfect. And then the last thing we want to implement is this sorting. This is also quite simple. We can just go down here and say dot order by sorting. Save, refresh. And now it sorts the lowest price to higher price. If I change to high low, search. Oops, could not resolve keyword. Okay, sorry, value like this. This should be high. No, sorry. This should be minus price. So now it says high low and the highest price is first and then it's decrements. Perfect. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it and if you did please click like below and share it with your friends. See you next time.